everyone, it's your Greek fellow from United Kingdom. So today I want to talk about my favorite game of all time, Titan Quest. Titan Quest, it is a game who changed my life as a gamer. When I saw it for the first time, that was exclusive back on then, only for PC, in 2006, I saw three different continents, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, and ancient China. Three beautiful mythology in one game. Back on then, I was playing Age of Mythology, years before, that was the only one close to that thing, but completely different concept. This is the only action role hack and slash, even the mother and the father of the hack and slash Diablo is always on the darkness, nothing like this one with the mythology. In 2007 it came, the Titan Quest Immortal Throne, which it had a new mastery, and not only that, but it had a second barrier where you could put more skills, as you had plenty, and I was like, oh wow, especially for us where we were kids back on then, it is something amazing that I will never forget it. Then. After the years they passed since 2007, we never hear anything back from the game. And I thought, the game is done and dead. But, haha, <laughs> TQ Nordic surprised us with the Titan Quest Ragnarok, the Scandinavian mythology, the new act, where you had a new mastery and a ton of new armors, ton of new weapons, and not only that, but you could fight Loki as an enemy and a meat here and a lot of other gods through the realm and go to Asgard. And then in 2019 came the Atlantis. What a masterpiece. All of those things I've just mentioned, the DLCs, I purchased it in the day one. I never see anything in any forum or hear anything. Titan Quest Eternal Ember. Wow. Again, Chinese mythology. What a masterpiece. A new tone of armors and a new mastery. I have a big respect to the company. So far, so good for those things. What happened to the console version? Don't skip it and listen what I have to say. I've been a gamer 25 years, guys. Wow, I can't believe it, how the years they passed it. And you know what they're saying? Once a gamer, you're always a gamer. And I've got even here our symbol that represents us, the Greeks. And this helmet, it is from the Titan Quest Anniversary Edition that you must, if you're a true fan, to buy it. Go right now on Amazon and go and buy it. Or go and search on Google to find this beautiful masterpiece. Anyway, short story cut, let me introduce myself and why I'm making this video. I'm a content creator which I do three different sections. Action role hack and slash, FPS shooting games and fighting games. First of all, I'm an owner of 323 games, not just a random gamer. As you can see over here on my library, you name it, we play it. Anything you want, anything it goes in your mind. Through Overwatch, Sirius Sam, Call of Duty, even God of War Ragnarok that will come soon in 11 days. Right here, you are watching Elden Ring Platinum Trophy. So I'm talking through experience, right? All of those games are my Platinum Trophies. I'm not a trophy hunter, I make Platinum Trophies based on the game I like. Anyway, short story cut, the developers abandoned the console version since in 2020. I'm a content creator on YouTube and Twitch. And the people who are watching me consistently on Twitch, they keep coming, new people, and they are like, Oh, Solage and my old viewers, what is this game? I want to buy it, it's amazing, wow! And I explain, and the people who are watching me, they want to buy this game! The major glitch and bugs that the game has, and the developer, they should have fixed this one. If they don't want to support with a new DLC that the PC version has already, at least fix the bugs, that's a shame. Whoever is the owner over there on the TQ Nordic, whoever is the manager, that they are not managing well, which I text on the Discord server, and I spoke to the moderators, and they said, oh, unfortunately they are not supporting the console because no Nobody is buying it. What? Wait, what? Everybody on my Twitch want to buy it. What are they talking about? Which I prepare their mindset to tell them this game for the console version, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Nintendo, it doesn't matter which platform of those consoles, it has the same bug. Your champion, it glitches through objective, your pet and your monsters. As you fighting, you stack on them, which I will show you in the video in a bit. And even if you move forward, backward, it doesn't come off from them or it doesn't come off from your pet. It keep following them. And that leads you when you're following the monster as you cannot move, dying. And that makes the new family friendly people frustrating and abandoning the game. And that's why you are not watching online players. Here you are, he's following him, let me show you, 
If I was on legendary mode with plenty monster, I would die instantly. Watch, I'm gonna heal. It does not do anything. It cannot move forward or backward. And that does plenty time randomly. You press the teleport and you unglitch. Here you are. Even if you would hold the square button and navigate in the other side to go, it wouldn't do it. And that's what exactly I want to show you and enjoy beating me on legendary mode, the Hydra, even on a glitch mode. What kind of reflex we're talking about? Wow. Hydra killer! And this is a dedication from a Spartan, from a Greek fella, from United Kingdom. Ha -oo! The developers over there. And they will fix this problem. So everybody can be happy, and as long as I'm gonna be here, I always I'm gonna spread my positivity through the amazing gaming industry.